Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got 10 things you didn't know about Caleb Williams. Let's check this out. Is he the most overhyped QB prospect of all time? I'm hearing that's like the main topic about him right now. Is he going to be a bust? Just never know, bro. But we've seen this type of story before, though. But I, but I feel like Caleb Williams is definitely going to prove all the haters wrong. But... Unique, and like, like bro, when you when you when you say that about somebody, you you know that that's just gonna add more f um fire to the fuel. That's gonna motivate them more when they when they hear that they're not special. They're gonna try anything they can to prove everybody wrong, bro. Shit, I'm muted. I'm mistaken. Got to be careful what you say about some of these players, bro. Or is he the real deal? In his Heisman Trophy winning season in 2022, he threw for 4,537 yards, 42 touchdowns, and only five interceptions. Oh, and he also rushed for 382 yards and 10 touchdowns on top of that. This guy has flashed on the field throughout his time in Norman with the Sooners, and even when he followed Lincoln Riley to Los Angeles. But you all knew that already, didn't you? Yep. His name has been the talk of 2024, so of course, you know how good Caleb Williams is. There are some interesting things about the USC alum that you don't know. What are they? In this video, we'll be going over 10 things you may not know about Caleb Williams. Bet, bet, bet. Number one. Caleb Williams' nickname is Superman. Just Get the like fuck out of here, Heisman Trophy winner and former No, NFL you're not. You're not Cam Newton, gang. Caleb no. Williams has taken on the moniker not, of the legendary no. DC. Why, why is he, bro? Why is he still in Cam Newton? Shit, bro. Come on now. Get your own. Get your own superhero. Superman Williams was given this nickname in high school by his teammates due to his absolute cannon of an arm. Fitting, right? Williams has taken on this nickname in all aspects of his life, having it in his Instagram bio, his X bio, and even making the original Superman full word logo his header on X. Speaking of the Superman logo, in college, Caleb Williams filed for a trademark for a Superman logo with his CW wow. instead of Superman's famous S. As we mentioned before, the last guy to take on the label of Superman was Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton. Newton had a pretty good football career and with Williams winning a Heisman just like Newton. Cam Newton should have won a Super Bowl, but this nigga being a pussy not diving for the damn ball. Okay, bro, this po bro, this pose ain't it, bro. This is that's the ass pose. Look at this shit, bro. Two. Caleb Williams nah, gang, that ain't is it. A bag of trolley sour gummy worms. Trolley. I mean, can you blame him? Williams is a big gummy worm guy. When asked what his top five favorite snacks are, Williams would give a list that would look like this: Lucky Charms at number five, Lucky cinnamon Charms. toast. Cinnamon. Hey, bro, you four. can never go wrong with cinnamon toast crunch. Snickerdoodle little bite. Little bites. Number three, salt and vinegar chips. At Ew, two, nigga. Only from Uts, and of course the trolley gummy worms at number one. I Do fuck with trolley though. Snacks resonate with you. Later in the video, we find out what Caleb's pregame meal consists of, but this next fact has been causing fans to freak out. Three, Caleb Williams loves to paint his nails. This, this one shit is a controversial topic. Bro, for some this zest ass nigga, bro. Football players shouldn't be painting their Everybody nails. Everybody knows Caleb knows Williams about this about this nigga. Less. All throughout his college career, Williams would paint his nails for Like, bro, I just don't understand why niggas paint their nails, bro. And and don't expect for niggas to call them gay. Like, bro, that's just a smiley face or some you nasty know? words for his opponents. I guess do whatever you want, I guess. At the end of the day, I don't know. Game. His logo, even Not here to judge nobody. Ritual. Is this the new trending wave? A little bonus fact here. Caleb's biggest pet peeve is people walking weird. I wonder if Caleb is taking a shot at the Patrick Mahomes. Bro, Four. how are you going to try to be Williams like him and then just call him out like that? Come on now. If you weren't a fan of Caleb Williams before, this might give you something to cheer for. Williams is a big anti-bullying advocate, as all should be. In let's let's keep it a buck, bro. Bullying made made us who we got today, bro. We need bullies, but not the, to a certain extent, though, bro. Don't have nobody out here, you know what I'm saying, offing themselves, bro. Just, you know just, just a little bit to make people tough, you feel me? Because I, I got bullied a lot. Bullying foundation called Caleb Cares. Williams dedicates his time and resources to help eliminate bullying and empower children everywhere. W. Williams Caleb, though. believes in helping the underdog, being quoted as saying this, 
Fitting in means you're not standing out. Greatness is formed in our differences. What makes you different today will propel you tomorrow. Five, Caleb Williams listens to only one warm-up song before every game. What yes, is it? One song. Just and no, one song it's game? not something by Kendrick Lamar or Drake, even though Drake is his favorite artist. The song that Of Caleb course, Williams bro, of course Drake is his favorite artist. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> before every single game, <laughs> Yo. is Ordinary People by John Legend. W. w. John Legend is a goat, man. He's used this song to warm up before every game since 2017. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't hype. This isn't warm up music. It's probably just to get him level headed. He said that he loves using this song to warm up because it's soothing and helps him stay in the moment. Yeah. Six, Caleb Williams' dad is his hero. Caleb may be Superman on the field. I can't say the same. His hero is. Caleb has pointed to his father as his biggest inspiration and his biggest support system going into the NFL. W dad. That, but Carl Williams was heavily involved in Caleb's pre-draft process. Caleb mm. decided not to have an agent going into the NFL, but to have his father by his side instead. As not bro, only now everybody trying to be like Lamar Jackson, bro. They see they see what Lamar could do with no so window agent out. Everybody trying to be like him. Come on, financial now. advisor, but his come on now. As well. My Carl nigga Lamar Williams out here starring shit. Inspirational game. The 2024 NFL draft, including this statement downplaying the NFL draft system. The way the system is constructed, you go to the worst possible situation, the worst possible team, the worst organization in the league because of their desire for parity gets the first pick. So it's the gift and the curse. Carl is talking about the Chicago Bears, of course. This type of statement can be potentially detrimental to Caleb's career in Chicago, but Carl clearly just wants what's best for his son. We've seen this be successful in the past, albeit more in front of cameras and in a different sport, with LeVar Ball and his three yeah. sons. So and they all made it to the NBA, so I'm, you know what I'm saying? Bears you know? Fans, if that quote makes you upset, don't be upset with your franchise quarterback. It's not on his back. Seven. Caleb Williams' pregame meal has a very interesting pregame ritual. Yet another what is fact it? involving Caleb Williams' pregame routine. Before every single game, on top of listening to John Legend, of course, Williams will load up on snacks, but it will strictly be two of everything. He'll eat two Uncrustables, two ham and cheese sandwiches, two drip drops, two popcorner chips, the fuck? et cetera, et cetera. After that, Williams will take one more moment to look over film and the playbook. Next, Williams will get one final workout in the morning of the game, followed by his song and the coin toss later in the day. Chicago better get used to seeing things in twos. Do you think <laughs> Caleb's diet will rival Tom Brady's? Eight, Bro. Caleb Williams' hobbies. Caleb has hobbies outside Aww. of football. Driving is one of his favorites. Doggy. He drives a Porsche Taycan. He enjoys showing up to Lakers games and watching NBA w. stars. If you like the NBA, check out our basketball channel called Halftime Basketball. We'll link it in the comments below. Caleb also plays video games, specifically <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone. Now we've seen some NFL players lose focus on Kyler Murray to Call of Duty in the past, so this begs the question. Will Caleb Williams be the next big thing? Or will Caleb Williams be the next Kyler Murray? Hey, no disrespect to Kyler. He packs a punch, but truth be told, players like him have spent a little too much time focusing mm -hmm. on their Twitch streams rather than their game. Nobody wants to see Caleb Williams waste his potential focusing on unimportant things. Yeah. Every player has their vice, a way to rest their minds and bodies away from the game. Caleb has had the privilege of making NIL money, thus seeing a college athlete driving exotic cars is becoming less shocking. Nine. Especially Caleb this nigga Shador. Loves ginger beer. I'm oh, ginger beer? You, nigga, what? what? Ginger beer even is before getting into his obsession with it. Ginger beer is a usually non-alcoholic carbonated beverage with an intense ginger flavor and a little bit of a spicy kick. Now, how much does Caleb Williams love this stuff? Just ask him. Whenever I get home, I go straight to the fridge and I grab one of these. It's the first thing I grab. How many I drink can be pretty unhealthy. I drink about three of these a day. You three, nigga? Much? It has a very strong kick, so it's absolutely an acquired taste. It always gets me on the first um, 
on the first sip. And Caleb didn't even like it at first, but his father really got him into it. Number 10, Caleb Bro, Williams requested nigga started an addiction. Whatever team drafted him far before the draft even happened. This oh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Caleb's father, Carl. Caleb and his dad had approached many agents about owning a stake in whatever team would have drafted him. Which Bro, can, can you even do that? Because I know they didn't let Tom Brady do it. Like, um, when he was still in the NFL, they didn't let him be an owner so i don't know if they're gonna be able to to um let he caleb williams the do the Chicago same thing Bears while williams was still in college why carl wanted to have as much control of caleb's pro career as possible is this ridiculous what do you think Going i mean bro Jordan, you may I, I understand like having you know what i'm saying having, having his back reasons. and everything but bro That's don't Mike try to control his loud. career my like nigga I said earlier, you can you know what i'm saying best for his son I mean, but you don't have to control him that the support your son, gang. This is not how this works. Caleb Williams into a diva and ruin his NFL career. Some label him the next Patrick Mahomes, but we don't think that is fair. Mahomes is in a tier of his own, and Caleb has his own legacy to build. Are the Williamses being too much, or are we just witnessing the new wave of players entering the NFL with an entitlement attitude? That's it. Hope fans, fucking how do you not. Feel about Caleb Williams being your franchise quarterback. Do these facts throw you off, or do they make you even more excited to root for him? Hey Let man, us... I don't know what the fuck to think. I'll leave, I'll leave that. I'll leave that up to y'all down in the comments below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on my post notification to get notified whenever I drop another banger video. And without further ado, I'm out. Gang. <laughs>